is the Cavalcade XL, a brand new version of the Cadillac Escalade has been added to GTA Online. Of course, I'm going to check it out today, customize it, and ultimately let you know, is the damn thing worth it? It's a house. It's a big... I had to get that out of the way. This vehicle would only ever work in the land of the free, in the, you know, the roads were built in modern times, and so it actually fits on the road. Here, it's just not a thing. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen other than like a 2008 imported model because those in comparison are so tiny okay this is just stupid <laughs> if you were the type of person to go oh well, more car for the money bigger car hmm uh, you're probably not one of them because ultimately you're not going to be about 85 but my big issue with suvs generally is that they are bigger on the outside and not on the inside in the case of the cadillac i am pretty sure surely surely if any car is is not look at the headroom look at the headroom to be fair by the way the porsche panamera seats they go all the way down anyway <laughs> i'm kind of curious to see how i'll get on with this because wow. i've got a dirty little secret to let you know about i used to really like the kind of like uh blame need for speed underground 2 speaking of underground 2 let's customize it the bloody thing almost doesn't fit on the screen it's so massive Genuinely, it needs to be further out because I can't I can't properly see it now <laughs> I promise you we're gonna give the, some deets about this car ultimately though. We're here for the customization So we have got fender covers Why if you've ever Ever wanted your car to look cheaper than it actually is you buy luxury SUV You put cheap plastic fenders over the top at least the primary covers the the, the paint color So it kind of makes sense now armor Hey, that makes sense on this car. The brakes, race brakes, that doesn't make sense. So hit me up, hit me up. You buy <laughs> a luxury SUV because you want to feel all high and mighty. SUV is not enough for you. You need to buy a luxury SUV. The biggest SUV to exist, very luxury. You are one man that needs to be taken around by his driver. I must buy SUV. Uh-oh, -uh, my back. Go for a run. <laughs> uh, 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 but, but I can have more people in it. Mate, you are one person. Stop lying. You got no mates. You live the American dream of working your ass off until you, 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 your back's blowing out. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Who is this car for? Gen I can't, I really can't tell you. The land of the free. <laughs> the location in where people will pay for injections to look very thin and remove their fat to look very thin and then buy a, a big fat car for some reason. <laughs> but I, I, I can't sit here and just say this the whole time. The Cadillac is, it's a different breed. Why are there six exhaust pipes? And why are they so tiny? The car's big, it needs big tips. I, I kind of like the idea of going with these. And they're only 950. It's cheap. As I said, for a while, I did quite like the Cadillac. And uh, I, I genuinely, I, I think I would have had one if i'm honest <laughs> they're, they're super cool they're just so stupid they are pointless and maybe that's why people like them these grills are looking much nicer than the standard one already which is pretty cool now the reason i think i have like an exception for again uh, one of the ultimate reasons need for speed underground 2 as i mentioned earlier it just kind of makes sense it is such a cool vehicle in that game spinners I, if I could put spinners on this car right now, I would damn do it. Anyway, this has been causing a little bit of an uproar. There's a whole... Th th this actually may be one of the most popular cars from the drop, <laughs> from what I've seen. We've got a camo here. We've got a colored... Ca very, very odd designs overall. I feel like most of them come in, like, black or white. I don't know if I could get them, get one in a car. I'm normally, like, color everything. Black and white is boring. However, it might... I don't know if colors will suit this car. <laughs> Mirror customization, we are going to go for the carbon fiber, of course. Plate, we're going to go for the panther. Let's start having a look at some of these metallics. So we could definitely just go all black. It would kind of make sense. However, I do want to see what it would be like with a little splash of color over it. We got this red, for example. I, I, I don't know. It looks like a Range Rover and that, that, that's cheap shiz <laughs> in comparison <laughs> that's cheap sh it might end up just being black or white to be honest it's definitely not going to be green so you could go for like a deep blue maybe a deep purple would look properly nice unfortunately even ultra blue 
it looks a bit naff. Maybe a brown to go along with your taste in vehicles. <laughs> if I was going to say though, oh, oh, I do like the shaft of purple. That is quite nice indeed. Cadillac Escalade. It's, it's big. It's spacious. Lamborghini Urus in the trash. Look, if you came here to, to get... Oh, I love this car. I, lo I, I love SUVs. SUVs are the best classic. You're in the wrong place, my friends. Welcome to the, the superiority... Not complex. <laughs> Big car. Little brain. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, roof accessories. Let's see. Let's carry on with this kind of like because again, it's super cool. I, I think I, I another thing. Like, I remember was was it was I did Ice Cube use one and are we there yet and stuff? Oh man, of course he probably did. How could he not? <laughs> and I really like the roof box because I need more space in my spacious car. Hmm. Side skirt customization to go along with. I can't believe there's roof boxes. I genuinely didn't expect that. We need the steps because you know we've made the car so tall that people can no longer actually get in it properly. What? Get a normal car. Oh, there's spoilers. <laughs> of course, there's damn spoilers. They're a bit simple. They're a bit basic, but ultimately, not too bad. Oh my God, we can lower it. Please tell me we can like camber it. Oh, <laughs> All right. that's pretty cool. Transmission, race transmission. Is no point pratting about. Turbo, uh, as you can see, top speed is not on its side. It weighs, I'm sure, about five tons. So, <laughs> at least, we okay. This is this is where you will make or break your Cadillac Escalade. It's all about the wheels. The standard wheels, nah. You need tiny, tiny tires, okay, that are gonna pop at any moment because ultimately you don't you don't drive in it. Someone is chauffeuring you. It's pretty safe to say, in terms of wheels, you're looking at going with the track or the street wheels because you need big rims tiny tire and that looks spicy but unfortunately i don't have access to all the best ones yet i'm still i've still not leveled up <laughs> in the ls car meet as much as i would like to but there's too many things they're genuine there's too much streets however i do have unlocked and i'm kind of digging the concave mega mesh wheels with these we got all the little crystals around it ultimately I, I feel like i'm going this way if i could go chrome i would but unfortunately i can't white on white i mean it's off white but like i don't know it looks kind of sick white on white is kind of spicy the black wheels look kind of boring to be fair the alloy wheels look decent the graphite i'm kind of digging the off white the white on white but am i gonna stick with white i don't know however this may be the first car ever that i'm going full limo smoke tint now nah, it looks crap i've changed my mind light smoke <laughs> oh my god what have I done? This is my Cavalcade XL. It looks properly nice. I, uh, I okay, I, I didn't directly intend to do this, but there's a very faint bunch of white stripes there. You can't actually see. It kind of blends in with the car. And so I put the white stripe on it, but all you see is on the splitter and on the roof. If you're not looking properly at uh, number back there obviously very subtle very spicy as i said it, it's just kind of a bit of a guilty pleasure this car let's see if it's actually any good one thing i did notice is when it actually sets off i almost couldn't tell that it probably weighs about 20 tons uh, the weight is going up as we progress through this video i do kind of wish that i could change the interior a bit because again like a real cadillac it has this really insanely offensive basic interior that i I would be absolutely livid. But the, the problem is, American brands kind of be like that. Every time I've got into an American car, like, they go full power, full beams. And of course, on the Cadillac here, they've gone full power, full beams, and ultimately full weight. I'm sorry, I can't, <laughs> I can't stop. Full detail, visual, uh, by today's standards, beauty on the exterior and on the interior, they thought, nah, nah, nah. Doesn't matter. We'll take it from a Dodge Charger from 40 years ago. <laughs> Put a screen on it, though, that only plays the radio. Though, hopefully, I don't, hopefully, hope and pray, my friends, that you have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, because you know the navigation system is genuinely going to be from, like, the 70s or something. You're going to have to crank that bastard up. <laughs> now, the weight of cars in GTA kind of doesn't really exist in the way you would hope. Like, you'd hope this big 
absolute monster could just smash through traffic like absolute hell. Oh, by the way, do you like my fresh trim? In GTA, that is, the Afro. I got it at Christmas. <laughs> but hey, this is GTA Online. Ultimately, I, I th you know what? The Mini is sensible. You can fit, in real life, a full set of people in here. In the back, uh, I promise you, it's not that uncomfortable. I don't know actually about the convertible. This generation of Mini is disgusting. Give us a new one. Not the new, new one, but like the one in between is, is you know. But like America used to make cool big cars. Look at this thing. Imagine rocking up to on the scene in this. You would have been Billy Big Bollocks, all right? Now, you're John Big Car with a small cup. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, before I make an assumption about the, the weight transfer between vehicles, let me, let me see, let me actually practice it head on. This thing is kind of quick from the go. Top speed is non-existent, obviously, but if you were to get into an accident that was your fault, which is very common and considering you can't see anything, that's all you get. That's the weight. There's no way this thing weighs less than three tons, right? <laughs> that new BMW, a new BMW, it's almost at the weight in where you'll need a new license to drive the damn thing. And you're telling me this is less. I'm kind of curious. Someone, someone that's on PC, can you go in and see what the Rockstar put the weight of this vehicle as? Because I'm really curious. My guess is it's like it feels like 1900 kg or something. <laughs> Not that I know what smashing up the back end of cars is like. I feel like the majority of the sales of the Cadillac don't actually go to consumers. It's very, very rare that you see someone that is like a, a, an individual, a person buying a vehicle like this. It just doesn't make sense. You don't buy a car like this. To, oh my God, the space is, <laughs> the space is, the spaces are, are big, like they, it fits in the space. Like what? if you bought a Cadillac like Escalade to then drive yourself places, you would look like a moron. You would look poor. Why would you do that to yourself? Ultimately, <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't understand. <laughs> ah, I hate golf. I just thought it would be fun. Is that, is that funny? Uh, yeah. <laughs>